Hi friends, in the part one we have seen how we have created one autocomplete by using one list box and one entry button. So this is the entry button when I am entering any data I have presented with the options. So if I can click that it will go. But thing is we have this is fine but usually we will go by the pressing the down arrow and then selecting the one of the option so for by clicking the right arrow or by the enter button so that part will add that so let's uh, come to our code now so here it is so after this line number 14 the our uh, my update is there so after that we let's create one more function but uh, but let's go to and add the events to this so for that here we'll say again now you want that whenever the down arrow is pressed it should uh, the selection should start from zero so for that we'll say e1 see the this time it is the not the list box it the e1 is our entry box so when the user is in the entry box and press the down arrow then only the event should trigger to select so for that i am using now it is e1 and binding that to down arrow so down now i am connecting now what i will do i will use my update my sorry my down this is the only down event i am triggering this i have not declared it i will declare it now where is my down after the my update so here it is my update so at this point i will write the function my down so for that let me come here so i am just defining my down so down arrow is sorry down arrow is pressed so i'll just say my widget okay then inside this i am doing what what will happen so in that case i am telling go to l1 focus so list one or the our uh, list box should be in our focus now so if for c us so this should focus and one more thing should happen so that is that the first option should be unselected selection at least selection set zero because the moment the user has pressed the down arrow the by default the option should be the first one so this is my my down should be now what happened so far we have not done anything on the selection this particular one will comment it we don't require that way what way it should be now let's just see that once i'm just i just saved it and running once you can see a i'm pressing down arrow you can see my selection because this is normal way it will work so moment i press the down arrow the focus has shifted to the this list box and then i can continue from here but what i want is once i press the suppose i have selected now i am pressing the right arrow that should be selected that i will code now so for here what for that what you will do this this one list box selection we have removed now here we have we will say uh this is l1 l1 dot because it is not entry box it is the list box so l1 l1 bind now what it should bind is right right arrow i am saying bind to right arrow and the function is already we have written that is my update because in this case that is that was used l1 bind here is we have commented it and that my update is nothing but here we have already discussed that also here it is my update this up to this point my update will be executed now that's another thing also happen if the user has pressed the entry box also then also the same thing should happen so for that l1 dot bind i'm just saying again uh return sorry return key is also if it is pressed then also you do the same thing fine that's all now these two will ensure that uh, all the key wise I can do the so I have just pressed a pressed my down arrow I am I can browse through now here I am placing and pressing the right arrow so that is selected now once more I will do this time I will go with the enter button so here I am now I am pressing the enter button. So this is how we can introduce the key wise navigation to our uh, whatever the autocomplete we have functionality we have created and we have used 
to this thing two uh, widgets which are two elements we have used one is the entry box itself where data will be entered and the list box but here you can let me just close this here you can see we our list contains this only so within this source only all the options are matching options are presented we don't want that suppose this instead of this we we want to take the data this list we can prepare by taking data from a google sheet from a csv file from an excel sheet or from mysql database or from so any database we can do that also can option and another thing can option now once the user has given this selection what happens the choice is limited to this suppose the user has typed z which is not there in this in that case say we are storing in all the matching data in a huge database which are multiple records so in that case when something else so dynamically we can take so this list can be prepared dynamically also when the huge data is there we cannot send all the data to the front end or to this python my list and then the user will be selecting that's all these things from different different sources from different databases how the query will be changed based to match the data that we will learn next part of this tutorial that is in the third part so i will request you please uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when the third one uh, comes up and other tutorials also we frequently add it and uh, please share this with your friends and thank you for watching